Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Xavier Rex from here, and today we bring you episode 3 of Space Engineer. Yay! Look at that wobble. And launch. Alright, uh, let me show you what I've guys done off the screen. I am the same balcony as always. Now let's just close this door and uh, let's go out a little bit. I, uh, I. Oh. Stupid rock, I'm gonna blow you up later. This... I've extended the ship a little bit. I added another refinery for our worst to be refined. And then I added two arc furnaces for the ultimate speed refining of the iron ore. And then I added two more summoners. Uh, because, you know, I like that speed, that fast. Uh, this does take up quite a lot of power. If we do, and and mass, let's not forget mass. We're at like 150,000 before. It's at 50,000 kilograms, and energy it goes from 20% to 70%. But you know, it's it's fine. Uh, we should probably check on your uranium. Uranium. Uh, where is uranium? Really missed. It's under refine in, in one of the refineries, so that's good. Uh, what are we going to do today is we are going to go outside the system. And we are going to start construction on the big, large, huge SIP. And this SIP is going to be really, really cool. I love it. Alright, uh, let's break here. Break here. Now we can go. Let's go into a refinery, a production, let's build. Actually, here's what we can do. The stores are the heaviest, right? 14 and seal plates, so I just shift clicking. Wait. It's 153,000 iron. That's. I should definitely put a nice big hole. How are you guys not. Come on, you guys are. Assemblers 2 and 3. I didn't find a fix to the problem, but uh, maybe the game's bugged. I have the ownership set correctly and all that jazz, but. Oh well, I'll just set this as a station. Station. that way. And we're gonna have it that. 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 I think I'll, this will be a. Hmm, what will this be? Let's start with this is gonna be a hangar bay. Yeah, it's gonna be a under hangar bay. It's gonna be nice. Two, three. Uh, I just realized it's gonna be Well we don't have to have it that way. No. Yeah, this will be fine. What I will do is this. There we go. Bam. Now it's going to be way too short. I will have. Where is it? What's it called? Air. There it is. Airtight hangar door. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, I think. There we go. Three, four, five, six. There we go. I did it. It's going to be a little bit tall. But hey, this is going to be fine. Yeah, this is going to be really fine. You guys are going to love it. Bam.
Okay, so here's what it's going to be. This is going to be the hangar bay. In this hangar bay is going to be our colony ship. And the colony ship will have basic necessities to get down into a planet. Uh, hopefully it's going to have enough thrust to, uh, you know... I don't know how gravity is going to affect the planets, if it's going to affect it at all or not enough, but I am going to have a lot of thrusters on it. It's going to have a lot of power to uh, hopefully land and take off in case we need anything from the ship. Okay, back to this. Okay, there we go. That's... This is a pretty standard hanger. I'll be right back. Alright, so I did uh, a lot more building. Uh, I'm going to have the hangar bay extend to here, to this. Uh, what I'm gonna this is a bunch of blast door blocks so uh, it doesn't melt the surface. Uh, one thing I'm definitely gonna need to build is like a welder ship. And instead of just taking one off the workshop, I'm figuring I'm gonna build my own because uh, you know building my own ship is fun. Uh, this is double layered, so uh, yeah, it's pretty nice to have a double layered ship. I need to do the bottom though. Uh, and then another design I have for this is I think I'm extending this back even further, a little bit further, and that way in between the hangar and uh, this area, which is going to be refineries and the reactor and the assemblers and all that stuff, uh, there's going to be a little hallway, and that hallway leads to the upper level. And in the upper level, we're going to have the bridge, which is going to overhang this. So we're going to have like a little, uh, little arc thing. The bridge is going to be right here, and over here we're going to have a uh, some broadside rockets, because uh, who knows? Maybe we're going to we're going to need to do some uh, planetary bombing. Uh, this this will have weapons on it, of course. Uh, you know, as a defense thing, we would never really go on the offense. It's basically going to be a a siege, colonizable kind of thing. So this is all going to be planet planet related. Um, and then in the back here, we're just going to have some, like, landing pads, so that's going to be nice. I lined up the ship, uh, one for easier access and for comparison, so this is going to be a, a pretty darn long ship, if I do say so myself. And I do want space on it, this is going to be, like, my flagship, basically saying. So, uh, I'm just going to get back to work here. Okay, so uh, what I started doing uh, right here uh, is I started to build a large weld, not a, a small, large-ish welding ship uh, for me to weld up that, uh, that ship back there because it does, it will take a long time to weld by hand and it's a lot faster <laughs> just welding it um, with the welding ship. And I did... This was built, uh, you'll see it later in the episode, uh, in use, and it, it, it works like a charm, it's, it's really good. Um, one complication, though, I had with this welder ship, though, is that it had to use large steel, not large steel, uh, the large pipes instead of the small ones, because for some stupid reason, uh, Keen Software House only allows steel tubes, not steel tubes, I keep saying steel tubes. Uh, steel plates to go through large tubes. Like it can't go through small tubes, but everything else can go through small tubes, and is like the stupidest thing. So I had to, I had to like uh, scrape out the ship and then put stuff back in and then scrape it out and put it back in. It was just not fun. It really wasn't. So uh, this sh welding ship has some uh, basic utilities, such as an oxygen tank, a uh, large reactor. Uh, it has two front uh, large thrusters, which I probably need to add uh, four like small forward ones for uh, maneuvering around, because uh, those they're just really powerful. Um, uh, what else? It's it's a nice welding ship. Really, it's like the design may not look good, but I don't know. I just I like it. I like it a lot. That's that's why I like building my own ships because it's how I want to do it. You know, I'm like uh, the Shia LeBlanc. I don't know how you say his name. 
Shia, Shia, Sisaya. Well, we can Google this really now. This is an overlay, by the way, so this is obviously post uh, video creation. The Shia, Shia LaBalf. How do we say his name? Name, pronunciation. How to pronounce? Oh, LaBuff. <laughs> Shia LaBuff. That's that's how you say his name. Never knew that. Okay, I'm probably just gonna cut away. Go to some music and uh, let you guys enjoy the rest of this build. Here we go. Getting in. Ooh, yeah. Together so well. Still need to be careful with those forward thrusters. Relax if I miss. 
miss a spot. Alright, no, I didn't. I wish I had a light though. Uh, let me install one right now. Spotlight. Oh! I'm dumb. I just pulled a stupid. I just pulled a real stupid there. Ow. Okay. Welders are off. Ow, oh, cheese. Let's get all this stuff. Okay. Go away. No one wants you. And nine. Fine, we'll have one there. And we'll have one there. Wait. Okay, that is better. Way better. Now I can see... How many steel plates do we have? 20,000. So I, uh, <clears throat> I used a welding ship and I welded all the, uh, all the stuff together. It, it looks really nice, I, I must say. So here we have the entrance, which still needs, uh, some welding stuff, such as everything else besides steel plates. But, uh, here we have the little landing bay. And here will be a door, and this will be the lounge. Well, not really a lounge, just a little, uh, corridor. Uh, that separates uh, main uh, industrial section and the hangar and we're gonna have some stairs going up here uh, we'll have some stuff here maybe captain's quarters and then the overlay which I will start doing right now actually because it doesn't sound like a bad idea so we're doing that that. Oh. That. 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 So that's basically all we're doing. All the way through. Not doing it before. Okay. There. 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 Mm, beautiful. And then we just hook this up. Okay. 
And that's pretty much going to be our. Uh... Okay, let me let me finish the design and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is basically what's going to be. It's an overlay or an overhanging bridge. So uh, we probably have windows facing down here. We can just watch uh, the uh, the colony ship go out, which will be nice. It's going to be pretty much an empty underbelly, though, unless I can find something to do with it. Maybe kind of sort of armor design. Once I finish up, uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start putting stuff back here. I'm definitely putting a huge reactor. Like, if you think about it, we'd have a big reactor right. Or can we fit two of them? I want two, definitely. Yeah, I want two. Two reactors. Followed by a couple of refineries. But we'll get to the refinery part later. And the reactor thing later. I just need to put this stuff together.
beautiful. Okay, so now we. Okay, so now we have uh, two stairways uh, going up to the top. Bam. I just need to. God, why is this so dark? Maybe I need to make just a, a basic lighting ship. What I'll do. This will be an open hallway. Think. Yeah, I'll make this an open hallway. Uh, this this will be covered, and there's going to be a there's going to be a stairway here that leads to the captain's quarters, which is the top back. It's going to look over it, and then there's going to be two doors under it, under that stair that uh, lead to the outside hangars. So that'll be nice. And I figured on the side I could uh, cut a hole in here and place the, uh, the broadside cannons uh, and I could attach them along with the uh, engine nacelles. So that'd be a cool little thing to add. Other than that, I guess I'd have to do a lot of curving. You know, just add a lot of these, and these, and uh, some of these, and I gotta do a paint job on it. So, this is a pretty hard build. Um, oh, this is, this is taking quite a while, but it's been a lot longer trying to assemble this thing, because for some reason steel plates can't go through small pipes, so I had to reconfigure this all, but overall it's a nice mining sh or mining, not a mining ship, it's a uh, welder ship. Nice welder ship. Just a uh, drag and drop. Steel plates. Bam. 15, 17,000 steel plates. Ready to use for the next time I weld this. But that will be next episode when we continue the ship construction. I'm Xavier Lockstrom. Have a good one.